Okay, uh, we're at the uh, Parahu Temple. That's actually not what it's called, but we come here because it's got Parahu, who's who I have tattooed on my chest. Um, and he's kind of like a dark deity. Uh, Ties freak out a little bit when they see that I have him tattooed on me, and I'm sure our cleaning lady, when she rarely comes into our apartment to do like the mass cleaning, we have this giant Rahu that uh, Robin gave me that I'm sure comes off as like having a devil statue in your apartment. Um, but there's something about the destructive force and the dark force of Rahu that is really powerful to me. And after fights, um, when I feel like he has intervened in terms of the energy and, as my friend Zippy puts it, the righteous destruction of Rahu, um, we like to come here if we can on the way back to give offerings because it's such uh, a huge statue for him here and this is the first one that we found. Um, so I feel like right now, uh, in where my fighting is in terms of my development and kind of how things have been going. Um, I was talking about this in the car with Kevin, is that the destructive force of Rahu, he swallows the sun and the moon, um, which is pretty scary when you think about it in terms of like explaining eclipses and things like this, is that like a, a deity of dark forces is swallowing the sun, sounds pretty end of days. Um, but there's something incredible to me about the fact that he does that over and over and over again. So um, when I'm fighting and trying to draw in these energies of uh, kind of cataclysmic powers in myself and trying to get these things into the ring with me, it's about getting them into the ring with me cyclically um, over and over and over again. So I'm here to say thank you to Rahu uh, and people are staring at me so I'm gonna go do that.